Joined now by Stanford head coach Tara Vanderveer. Coach, congratulations on advancing in the tournament. If you'll please begin our press conference with an opening statement as you prepare to face BYU. Uh, we're very excited to be uh, playing in a game Monday night. And, um, you know, uh, BYU has an excellent team. They had a great win over Auburn. And uh, we have a lot of work to do today to get our team prepared. But um, we'll be ready, and we're, we're really happy to be playing. Okay, with that, we'll open up the floor for questions. Coach Vanderveer will be available until 2 p.m. Coach, in what ways does BYU get your attention as you prep for this game? Uh, they, have, uh, they have a lot of uh, very capable players. Um, you know, I think um, starting inside with, um, you know, somebody 6'7", that gets your attention. Um, they have, um, you know, they play a lot of, a, a, a lot of players that uh, shoot the ball very well. Um, you know, with someone making 86 threes, that's, that's, that would get your attention. Um, but they're, they're, um, they pass the ball well. They shoot the ball well. Uh, they're a very strong fundamental team and, uh, you know, very well coached team. Um, they play a lot of people, so you've got to get, you know, you've got to really know a lot of different uh, personnel. Um, and, you know, they, they uh, played in a, in a, a very tough league and, um, you know, winning their conference tournament. So, uh, you know, obviously they've had a great season. Uh, you said six seven gets your attention. Uh, what what particular uh, problems does Hanson uh, present for you guys? Well, I think you know she blocks a lot of shots. Uh, she changes things in the paint when you go in there. Um, I'm glad that we've played against people that are that big already this year with uh, Baylor, with uh, Kalani Brown. You know, different build, but six seven, and also um, um, the young lady at, at Oregon State. Um, you know, six eight. So I think it. it you know, if you're not used to playing against that at all, you know, you turn and there, you know, you're gonna, she's going to block your shot. Uh, she scores. They run a lot of really nice pick and roll action with her. Um, so, I mean, that, you know, that's a, a big part of their game. Hi, Coach. The question was asked to your players right before, but in what ways is that February 10th kind of a wake-up call for your team? And, and what have you seen as a coach that's changed in their mentality and their confidence? Uh, well, it was um, it was a beatdown. I don't know if a wake up call would be how I describe it. Uh, Oregon came in and really had their way, and I think that maybe our team learned that you can't just show up. You've got to be ready, and you've got to really play hard and play really well uh, if you want to win the game. Um, and you know, Oregon's a, a, a great team, and um, you know, we're really excited to get a chance to play them again and show that that wasn't you know that wasn't who we were on. Um, February 10th. So, um, you know, hopefully um, we've played well since then and we can continue to do that. Yeah, Coach, you guys are obviously very experienced at this time of year playing into March, kind of one of the main sides of the tournament, um, remarkably consistent the last few years. BYU's pretty new, pretty young in this tourney. Do you think that experience gives you guys? I don't want to say an advantage or a leg up, but, but sort of helps your players, I guess, moving forward through these stages of the tournament. Do you think that helps them a lot? Well, I think it, uh, experience only helps if uh, you've learned from it. Uh, you know, just, just because you've done it doesn't mean anything really, but hopefully the fact that, you know, people have been, um, been successful in the tournament, uh, they can build on those positive experiences and learn from, you know, why we weren't successful. Um, I don't think I don't think basketball or the tournament's rocket science. Um, you know, you've got to play great defense. You've got to rebound. Uh, you've got to, you know, execute offensively. And it's uh, you know probably no different than the season. During the season, you're kind of maybe feeling things out, trying to figure out lineups, trying to figure out combinations, maybe what things to do. But by the tournament, you've got to have it figured out. And um, I hope our team is excited about playing in the tournament. And that their experience is uh, going to serve people well. What did BYU show you against Auburn in particularly and how they handled uh, Auburn's press? Well, uh, we weren't going to put a press in really like that today anyway, but, um, you know, um, they, they, I thought they handled the uh, press well. They passed the ball well. They uh, really, um, you know, they, they – they're a very fundamental team. They pass and shoot and spread the floor well. And uh, they just, um, 
you know, it was a great game. I mean, Auburn made a great comeback, but um, I think BYU uh, just stayed in there and. Um, you know, I didn't really, I didn't really see the very end of it, just because we were getting ready for our game. But you know, the fact that Auburn did come back, um, you know, I think they did force some turnovers, but they didn't get as many as they, as they usually get and wanted. Um, again, um, you know, BYU is, uh, you know, very, I think, very impressed with um, Gonzalez. I mean, you know, we saw her during recruiting and, and liked her, but I know that she had uh, committed early to BYU. But uh, she's an outstanding player, and you've got um, just again. You know, really good shooters, a good inside game, good outside game. Uh, you know, hopefully that's how that's how we're going to play too. Hopefully we have a good perimeter game and a post game too. Um, I thought one of the keys for BYU yesterday was they quickly switched out of man into zone. I was mm -hmm. wondering if uh, a team that's versatile that can play a lot of different defenses, anything like that, if that's a concern for you guys. Uh, you know, honestly, we have played against everything we have played against um, you know press we played against zone uh, player um, triangle and two box and one we we have played against everything this year I really feel like our conference uh, schedule and our non-conference schedule playing Baylor uh, playing uh, at Tennessee um, playing uh, at Gonzaga you know we played Florida Gulf Coast all these teams are all in the NCAA tournament They've all gotten us ready for this. So, uh, your your team. I mean, I think players at this level, they're not going to be. I mean, you know, what if a play, team plays player, you're doing one thing. If play, team plays zone, you're going to look for other things. But I don't see that as being anything that is really disruptive or an advantage. Um, most teams play both, so you're going to. We we play both. They play both. You know, you're going to play whatever's going to work. In what ways has your team transformed since the beginning of the season and, and gotten better at, uh, changed? Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you, you, there's some common opponents between you and BYU, but neither of you are the same team you were when you played them, so I don't know how much that helps. But how has your team changed? Um, uh, that, I, I, that's a great question. I've been thinking about that a little bit, you know, when, especially because we played Davis and that was our first game. Uh, you know, first of all, unfortunately, we've had some uh, injuries. So not having people has forced other people to step up and play well for us. Um, I think uh, Kiana Williams is doing a great job for us at the point. Um, you know, last year she played the two. Last year she might have averaged 20-something minutes a game. And uh, she's really uh, developed into, I think, uh, a, a, a really outstanding point guard in our, for our team and in our league um, and in, in the tournament. Uh, you know, we're... We thought and initially uh, Lexi Hull started for us, and then she got hurt, so she was out. So now Lacey starts. Um, you know, last year uh, we had um, Anna Wilson was doing well, and then she got out. So it's a lot of it is, I've said to our team, the best ability is availability. And so different people being available, they've improved a lot, and they've really listened. Um, the improvement of DJA Carrington, I think, is outstanding. I think what she's doing this year for us is a lot different than what she did her freshman and sophomore year. She's a real leader, uh, scorer, rebounder, defender for us. Um, Alana Smith, I think, is playing a lot better. So you've got someone like Kiana, uh, who, you know, she was more of a, a role player last year. Uh, Alana, uh, Dijanae didn't start for us, and these are our, our go-to players. And uh, I think Shannon uh, Coffey has really improved a lot. She's doing really well for us. So, um, you know, Maya was out a lot, but she's coming back. Uh, I think the whole team, uh, individually, they've really improved. And I, I think part of it is the fact that they really enjoy playing with each other. So they're not just playing hard for themselves, but they're playing hard for each other. But overall, um, I, I think we're in a whole different spot, and we're forced to be in a different spot because of some injuries. What has it taken to have been in 11 straight Sweet 16s? Hmm. I hadn't really thought about that. Um, I hope it's 12. Um, I, again, I think you just you have to you have to really be well prepared at this level. Everyone is uh, really talented, and you know what we kind of have asked for in women's basketball is more parity, and we have it. Uh, there are closer games, there are more competitive games, there are more upsets. Um, we just we have to play 
Um, I think that in order to play at the Sweet 16 level, you, you just have to do the basic things. You have to rebound. You have to play uh, really, we play scouting report defense. You know, you better know what you're doing out there and work hard to make it happen. Uh, offensively, you've got to execute well and take good shots and take care of the ball. Um, and, and your team has to really enjoy playing with each other. They have to be a team that wants to keep playing because, you know, you're in the locker room for, you know, four, three and four hours in the training room. And, you know, they know that maybe some of their friends are, you know, at Disneyland or Hawaii or, you know, Florida or something. Um, they have to love playing with each other. And I think that's probably it more than anything.